Firefighters and police packed a meeting room in Florence tonight to talk pensions. They're seeing a, a direct attack on their retirement security. A firm hired to take a look at the Kentucky retirement system proposed reduced and delayed benefits for first responders. For Covington firefighter and father of four, Tyler Cherry, it could set back his retirement nine years. So when you look at uh, planning out your life for your wife, your children, what you're gonna do at retirement, and all of a sudden you're looking at eight years to 17 years is, is a huge difference. Some say the toll the job takes on the men and women who serve would make additional years of service hard. That can be a huge emotional drain on an individual by the time they reach that. Firefighter Glenn Kilby asked lawmakers questions tonight, worried about his retirement on October 1st. My family's grown and, and had their own family, so it's just me and my wife, but I still want to be assured that I have that income to sustain our life. Now these workers, all under the county employee retirement system, want to separate from the state and sustain their own pensions locally. It's something at least one Kentucky lawmaker supports. I think it only makes sense to let the cities and counties that contribute to the retirement system control their own money. Now first responders are sounding the alarm to all Kentucky lawmakers. What we're saying, it's our money, it's our system. Let us manage it the way we see fit. Now, local union leaders tell me it is important to note that many firefighters do not participate in Social Security, so these pension plans are truly important for their families and for their financial futures. We're told that the Kentucky legislature is expected to hold a special session in a few months to vote on the pension reform bill. Reporting live in Covington tonight, Amanda Kelly, WLWT News 5.